Good morning, Chancy Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's Cardinal Weekly News. I love this new news look. It's September 25th through September 29th. Welcome back. I thought Cahill did it. All righty. No, no, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Open house was so much fun last week. It was pretty cool to have all of your families there and to see all of you point out the things that you've learned and you've done since we've been in school. And it was a packed house, you all. So you all know how to show up and be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So no, normally I am second, but um, we did the open house thing right before the weather. But boys and girls, here is our weather forecast. Um, Monday, 77 degrees, very nice outside. Tuesday, 80 degrees, still a perfect day with some sun. Wednesday, 77 degrees. Um, and sunny Thursday, just some overcast with clouds, but 75 degrees and then Friday, 74 degrees. So as we begin fall, we are really having some very nice fall weather. Boys and girls, I do want to remind you, though, in the morning, we have to go into that gym and it is very cold. Bring your jackets and it's cold in different spots around the building. So keep bringing those jackets. Yep, keep bringing those jackets. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Burton here. This is our week before fall break. So let's make sure we are coming to school every single day and doing things the Chansey Cardinal way. That means you are being respectful, responsible, and safe all throughout the day. You're following rules and expectations. You're respecting personal space of your peers, you're using your materials properly, you're still bringing your backpacks with all of the materials you need for school, you're being a good role model for all of those around you, you're keeping your hands and your feet to yourself, they should not touch anyone ever, you're maintaining some self-control and following directions carefully. Let's have a great week this week, um, boys and girls, and do things the Chancy Cardinal way. All righty, boys and girls, when you get to school, I want to remind each and every one of you to get breakfast as soon as you enter the building. Lots of times, if you're a bus rider, I don't know, maybe you go straight to the cafeteria, maybe you go straight to the gym, but the bottom line is, is make sure you get breakfast. A lot of our car riders end up, because you leave the gym, you think you'll go to somewhere else, but you don't always go to the cafeteria to get breakfast. And then I notice people going back and forth and then I'm confused. Make sure that whether you're a bus rider, a car rider or a walker, whatever your, more, your mode of transportation is in the morning, that you get breakfast. Because if we see you going back and forth, at some point we're gonna say you've missed your opportunity and I'm really sorry for your, your poor decisions. All righty. Level one voices in the cafeteria and the gym, we're not yelling. Make sure that you're walking in the hallways. You're going to wait in the gym or the library until someone picks you up. A grown-up should be there to pick you up probably at 7. I was going to say 8.30. That was last year. <laughs> probably at 7.30, boys and girls. Uh, follow all adult directives and keep your hands and your feet to yourselves. At dismissal. Now, this is really important because this is how you go home. And we want to make sure everyone gets home safely but efficiently, that our process is efficient. So make sure that you are on a level zero as soon as you hear the ding, ding, ding. That's how you know that the afternoon announcements are going. And I try to do that promptly at 2.15. So make sure that you are ready, bags packed, and you're on voice level zero. When you leave from your classrooms to the your dismissal location, make sure you're walking in the hallway. Be a good role model in the carpool lane or the bus lane or wherever you are. Make sure you're role modeling how to behave. Always follow all adult directives and keep your hands and feet to yourself. That was a mouthful, Miss Ivory, but that was really good information for all of us to remember. All Thank right, boys and girls. This Thursday is our last day to earn character count tickets for being respectful, responsible, and safe in the month of September. I don't know if you all have seen it or not, but our ticket will is busting at the seams. So busting at the seams. Busting at the seams. So Thursday <laughs> is the last day for you to earn a ticket. And then Miss Milburn and I will work our magic. We will draw out 50 names. 50 boys 50. and girls. 50 names we're going to draw out of our wheel. And then Miss Ivory will announce who the winners are on Friday, and you will get a chance to come down and get a prize from the prize cart. So it's exciting, exciting this week um, for our students who have been earning those tickets. I love it. 
Who will be the lucky winner? That's the question. All right, boys and girls. So we have lots of schoolwork and artwork up on the walls. Look, but please don't touch. As you're coming down the hallways, make sure that you're walking away from the bulletin boards and the student work. Um, do not put your hands on any of the artwork or student work that's up on the walls. Just be very respectful of the school and things that we have hanging on the walls. All right, our Chansey Digital Media Club. Those are um, this is a new club that we're starting this year, thanks to Miss Ivory and Miss Trinity's brilliance. So we are going to start, or we're starting this club. This is our first group of students who will be part of Chansey's first digital media club. Um, and these students will be charged with creating the weekly announcements like you see right now. Um, many of them have already started working on them. So some of the slides you see have been created by the students in this club. They will also be taking pictures throughout the school year of different events we have. Um, just doing some really cool things with technology throughout the year um, for you all. So congratulations to Carla, Layla, Allure, Harper, Joshua, Tibidor, Ahmad, Nima, Calvin, Priscilla, Charlotte, and Raylan. These individuals submitted an application and they also submitted a project to show us that they were eligible or they wanted to be in this club. And so they were accepted. They meet every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday with Miss Trinity in the STEM lab. Um, so teachers, we will be sending out a little bit of information for this club just to let you know what, what they'll need to take home. They may need to take their Chromebooks home some during the week. Um, these are just a few of our members. They were excited to take pictures. I think they started working on the slides this week. So I'm excited for this club. I think it's going to be good. Nice job, Miss Ivory and Miss Trinity coming up with the idea. Miss Burton, but you but you kill me. This is always a collaborative effort. Miss Ivory just has like a vision. <laughs> And then you rock it out. I just, and <laughs> half of my visions I've stolen from someone else anyway. <laughs> but this is very much a collaborative effort. I like that. You know what? That's what teamwork's all about. Teamwork um, makes the dream work. Yes. Yep. All right, Lunch Stars, this week we are starting. Mr. Thaxon has been working hard to come up with um, a way to recognize those classes that are doing what they need to do in the cafeteria. So this week you will notice on your table and he'll explain it more in detail, but you'll notice a yellow cup that looks like this and it's going to have some items on the side. He's working on that right now. Um, but it'll have some items on the side that just explain the three top things you should be doing when you are in the cap cafeteria. For example, your voice level is at the right level. It should be a level one. Um, your area is nice and clean and you're being respectful or safe. So he'll have those three things on there. And if your class is doing what they need to do during your lunchtime, and you're following those three main rules that Mr. Thaxon's going to have outlined on your cup, then you will get to get a lucky a lunch star for the day, okay? And that lunch star will go on your chart that's posted up in the cafeteria. Now, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, and he's giving you a warning and said, hey, you got to make sure you're keeping your area clean, it's not clean, and he comes back around and your area is still not clean, or maybe you're yelling and screaming across the cafeteria, he's going to take your cup and your class will not get the lunch star for the day. So this is just a good visual reminder for you all to remember that when you're in the cafeteria, you should be doing what you're supposed to be doing. You should be following directions and being safe and um, keeping your area clean and just making it comfortable and easy for all of us to enjoy our lunch. So this is what we're going to be starting this week. Um, and then at the end of the week, the classes that have the most stars um, within each grade level. So one class per grade level will receive a shout out and um, a small little treat. So that's what we're starting this week. Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> All right, Chancy Cardinals, this week we have a lot going on. We have extended Cardinal Week, so we're still taking donations. Um, please bring that money in if you've got people wanting to donate for the school and the things that we're doing with those proceeds. Uh, Kentucky Kids Day is Tuesday, September the 26th. So this is just a day in Kentucky where we celebrate all kids and how special you guys are. Cardinal Bash is on Thursday, September the 28th. More details about that will be coming out soon, but that's a back-to-school event, um, and it's going to be like a dance party-ish um, type event where if you've donated, you've gotten a ticket to come back to, for the Cardinal Bash. And then book fair is through this week, but it ends Friday, September 29th 
So if you still want to get something from the book fair, remember to bring your money and then your classes are visiting that book fair during your special area. She's there. Okay. And guess what, boys and girls? Next week is fall break, October 2nd through October 6th. That means you get, boys and girls, you get Monday off for parent-teacher conferences, but your parents or your families are going to come out and get with your teachers. On Tuesday, teachers and students are off. So teacher kids, you don't have to worry about anything that day. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I hope you are doing nothing but being a kid. The leaves are falling. The uh -huh. weather is nice. There's pumpkins all around the world, I guess. There's candy everywhere. Just enjoy yourself for fall break. Burton and Kay Hill, what are you doing? I am cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I'm going to go first, Kay Hill, because mine is not as exciting as yours. I'm going to clean and rest and eat. And do what I do on all breaks, probably. <laughs> I won't be doing much. Kay Hill, what are you doing? Well, actually, Miss Burton, that sounds fantastic. What you're doing, catching up on on work that you need to do is always very important. And getting time off is good for that. But no, actually, this fall break, since we have that extended time off, we're actually going on a trip. We're going to Florida, and I'm taking my children uh, to Disney World. Oh, so much fun. A lot of people are going out of town. A lot, yeah. Miss Ivory, are you going out of town? What are you doing? No, I'll be like you, cleaning, pretending <laughs> like I'm cleaning, cleaning some more, or pretending some more. I don't know. I think I would like to say I'm cleaning. Now, what happens? <laughs> I, I got nothing. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Sounds All like right. a football break. Right. Chansey Cardinals, don't ever forget that you are important and unique. Be the best that you can be. Work hard. Be kind. You will change the world. Love you all. Have a good yeah. week, everybody. Have a great week.